Good day, everybody. Welcome to our Grade 10 Business Studies lessons. Uh, we are focusing on the topic, the application of the problem solving techniques. And for today, we'll be focusing on the application questions only. All right, we'll start with our first application question. It says here, identify the problem solving steps that is applied by MAB manufacturers below. Right. So we're going to identify the first statement says map manufacturers ensures that their solution is realistic and executable. All right. Secondly, they got the opinions and suggestions of everyone involved. Right. Thirdly, they collect sufficient information and study problem. Lastly, Map manufacturer put their strategy into action. So don't forget the question. It says identify the problem solving steps applied. So from all the problem solving steps that we have, so you now you need to identify and put the relevant one where they um, where they should. So the first one again it says map manufacturer ensures that their solution is realistic and executable. So what do you think it's the problem solving step applicable here? Mm -hmm. Now we've got an answer. The first one we say now formulate what a strategy. Remember we're coming up with strategies. Formulate a strategy. So to formulate a strategy is to do what? To come up basically with a strategy. Right, I hope my handwriting is clear. Right, so the second one says they got the opinions and suggestions of everyone involved. So basically they are evaluating it. We can say that why else would we need suggestions or rather opinions of other people? So there's a keyword to evaluate the process, the problem solving process. Evaluate the problem solving process. All right. I hope you understand. I hope it makes sense to you. Then the third one says they collect sufficient information and study problem. So there's a keyword. They've collected enough information. So why are they collecting enough information? It means now they are ready to make their choices, basically. So what is that here? Yes, that's correct. Choose the best solution or strategy. Remember the key word here, the best solution. We don't just make any choices, but we need to ensure that the solution that we've chosen, it's the best, right? We don't just make the choice only. Eventually we have to put it into place or put it into practice. So it says here, map manufacturers put their strategy into action. So which is one of the problem solving steps. So we've chosen the solution. Now we are putting it into practice. What is that? According to the problem solving steps, what is that? So when you put something or a strategy into action, you are doing what? You are implementing it. So implement, implement, implement the strategy. It's very important that you understand that we're not implementing the problem solving, but we are implementing the strategy. Remember, this is us now coming up with the steps, trying to solve the problem. So you formulated, you came up with the strategy, you evaluated it, you've made a choice, and then afterwards you are putting the strategy into action or you are implementing it. So we've identified the problem solving steps. I hope we are in the right uh, space. I hope you understand me and we are together. Then we move on to the next question. All right. The next question says, explain other four problem solving steps. So now that is a key word, other. So what do they mean by other? It means 
not the ones that we've mentioned in number one, not the ones that we've identified. Explain other. Right, so when, you've explain, when you're explaining other, yes, the first one, identify the problem. Businesses must first know and understand the problem. Remember it says explain. Right, the problem must be defined accurately. So you're identifying the problem since there, um, and then you're defining the problem, which is another problem solving step. This step can only take place once the business knows and understands its problem. So here we are basically coming up with the causes of the problem. Hence, the next bullet says they must define the possible causes of the problem. Right. The third one, allocate the resources. Now you need to know who's going to do what. Allocate, be it money, allocate the staff members, allocate the right equipment so that uh, the strategy can be executed very well. So this, the resources, they include money, staff members, time and equipment. I've just mentioned that. Um, consider buying affordable and effective uh, resources so that we don't complain at the end of the day when the strategies are not well executed. Monitor the problem solving. So you need to monitor whether the strategy is solving the problem as defined in, this, in step one. If the strategy is not working, then you return to step three and come up with an alternative strategy. Right, I hope you understand. We've come to the end of question number two. We now need to move on to question number three. But before we move on to question number three, we'll take a quick break and then when we come back, we'll continue with our application questions.